Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. So, quick clip here today. I'm working on making another video on the white light interferometer project for surface roughness testing. And I just had to show this uh, little demo uh, to give an example of just how sensitive it is due to my own poor design choices. So, you know, I don't know anything about optics. I'm an idiot when it comes to all that stuff. So when I started playing around with this, naturally, you know, I just 3D printed everything. I just needed a way to, and this is how I do any experimentation in optics, I just need a way to hold elements and orientations to each other in roughly the right place to get an idea of how things behave. And I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm certainly not going to spend any real money on any fancy uh, optomechanical stuff. But there's a good reason you never hear PLA and optomechanical mount uh, said together in the same sentence. So let me show you why. I've got this 405 nanometer laser pointer here. Now this is just a super cheap Chinese laser pointer uh, that actually came with a, a UV epoxy kit. Um, and you know, it's clearly more powerful than a milliwatt. It claims that it's less than five milliwatts, but it's not by no means one of those burning lasers. You know, I can hold this on my hand all day long and I'll never feel any warmth at all. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shine this in uh, two places. One, I'm gonna shine it right back here and I'll uh, grab the camera here and show you. I'm gonna shine it right here behind the, uh, the sample mount on one of the arms of the interferometer and you know, you can imagine if you heated this piece of PLA here and it expanded, that arm would get shorter. I'll then shine it on this face of the beam splitter mount. And you can imagine if you heated that side of that vertical post, that would expand the one side and bend the beam sort of, you know, away, effectively lengthening this arm of the interferometer and not having much change to that arm at all. Here's the fringe pattern we're looking at. We're looking at a, this is a weird, kind of a weird setup here. We're looking at this ball bearing uh, to try and measure the surface roughness of the ball bearing. Really beautiful fringe pattern, but that's besides the point. I'll set the camera back up here such that you can see a little bit of the fringe pattern and also where I'm pointing the laser here. So let's uh, just shine the laser at the back of our stage here. Look at that. Crazy movement immediately. And then here I'll uh, shine it on the beam splitter mount. And there we go back in the other direction. Quite, quite rapidly. And it's crazy because I don't feel this outputting any heat at all. But that is absolutely sort of proven by the fact that we can go both directions depending on which part we shine it on. That is absolutely a thermal effect that, that this is having. Crazy how sensitive that is. And speaking of sensitive, you know, the whole vibration battle continues. This is a, not a great time to be making any measurements right now. It's a Saturday evening, sort of a lot of activity in the neighborhood here, people walking around and stuff. And as you can see, those fringes are kind of dancing all over the place. So I won't be actually taking any uh, real data until much, much later tonight. So yeah, I just wanted to show that crazy, crazy example of thermal expansion there distorting my uh, PLA optical mounts. So yeah, thanks for watching.